Hey guys, this is Tella. Got a quick game with my AR against ISIN TV. This is a good demonstration on how game sense comes into play no matter what class you're playing. I'm not a particularly good AR, I consider myself pretty mediocre. But you can see how effectively I managed to play even without intimate knowledge of AR. Um, I do want you to notice two things though. The first is that I am not using the rocket dash attack very often. In a 1v1, this is almost the worst thing you could do with AR. And it is one of the most thing the things I see most frequently anytime I fight against ARs. If you use that attack, if you rocket dash and use a dash attack, you're gonna go fast and you're gonna go far, and you're also gonna go in a straight line. Once you use it, you're committed to that path and you cannot change off of it. And any good player will plan around that and you're just gonna get, they're gonna be waiting for you every time you land to hit you with a special or something. So don't do it unless you know you can get away. It's not a good idea. A regular rocket is much better than that because you can still change directions and influence your movement. But a rocket dash attack is generally a bad idea. So yeah, don't do that. The second thing uh, you should notice is that I'm not relying on spam. Um, now I'm not saying spam like, oh my god, fireball spam, bad, 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 bad. I think spam is a perfectly acceptable thing and it's the basis of team play. Um, but in this case, it's a 1v1. So spam is is not very effective. This is the other thing that I see all ARs do. They get up to the top and they just start shooting arrows down, or they aim randomly, and the off chance that I might get hit by them. That's spam. It's uh, not a good idea in 1v1. So you'll notice that when I play, I take my time and I take my shots, and I want every shot to count. And that's important and beneficial to me, because if I'm not spamming, then I my pattern is restricted to my shots and the only shots I'm taking are the ones I'm pretty sure will hit. So even if he knows what's coming, the idea is that I know he knows it's coming but he can't do anything to stop it. So there's no, it's much more difficult to follow a pattern like that than it is to follow the pattern of go to the top, shoot a bunch of arrows down, you know, go to the left side and go down even though I'm waiting for you at the bottom, which is another thing I see ARs do all the time and I never understood. That's just gonna get you killed. I don't really get what you're trying to do there. Alright, so I start the game by going to the top, not because I need to be up there, but because it gives me the option of moving down, and more options is better than less. I expect him to go that way, so I do that. So here I check for the one bar, and he does do a second one, so I'm out again. And I go in and I miss the first one bar, but it made timing the second one very easy. Followed up with a grab. And I want him to chase me into the corner there. And I expected him to be charging his MP as he used a recovery attack because his health is low. And I was right. And I stay there just a second longer to bait him into it. I keep grabbing in this exchange because I am on the lower part of the hill, which means I'm far more likely to get my grab properly than he is. And I was right, and it worked out well for me. Trying to get him to follow me into the corner again. If you're chasing someone into a corner, you're prob unless you're a striker or something really, really good, you're probably going to be in a bad position. Taking my shots, taking my time, not just trying to spam. It's a nice delay grab on his part. The leg grab failed because he used his recovery, but because he was low health, I expected him to be charging his MP. I expected him to hold Z as he used his recovery. And that is why I was expecting him to special. Because E's option was either to let it go and special, or hold it and counter and die. Alright, and once again I was on the lower part of the hill, so I went for the grab. And there I just paused one second to let him land, because he'd already used his aerial attack, all he could do was land. Doing some more precision shooting instead of just raining uh, 
lower aerial attacks from this guy. I know he doesn't have enough MP to stop that anyway, so I was pretty much safe since I had the ledge to escape from if I needed to. And then slip up and around after his wind spiral, or wind flare, and that's game.